What is up, guys? Uh, J Dad's back out with another one, and um, in the fourth round, the Giants elect to go linebacker out of Northern Iowa, Ellerson Smith. Now, one thing I can say about him, even though he was at a small school at Northern Iowa, he went up against Spencer Brown, who was, you know, what I'm saying, in the later rounds, like a third, fourth round, was, you know, projected to go there, which is a good spot for a tackle. He went up against him in practice every single day, you know, what I'm saying. And he was very productive at, at Northern Iowa. You know, he had 14 and a half sacks back in 2019, seven and a half sacks a year before that. And um, he's a developmental guy. So he has some pass rush, up, some pass rush upside. Um, I'm okay with the pick. I'm okay. You know, I do wish the Giants would have went offensive line. But at this point, I feel like they are very, they're very confident in the guys they have. And I have no problem with that. I just think that... Um, you know, taking someone in a draft wouldn't have hurt. You know, saying so someone in the fourth, third round, I don't think that would have hurt. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, they could have used another guy to um, bring in some competition with uh, Shane Lemieux or Will Hernandez. I feel like Will Hernandez is going to be the definite starter at right guard. No, left guard, I should say. And Lemieux is going to be the right guard until unless they bring a vet in, which is always possible. Am I going to say it's going to happen? No, but... Um, it's somebody, you know, just bringing somebody. That's what I would hope they would have did. Now, is a trade-up still possible? Yes, if someone, if an offensive lineman they still like is falling still, and they want to trade up and go get them, they have the ammunition to do that. Um, do I see it happening? Probably not. But with Ellison Smith bringing him to the team, you officially have some competition with them pass rushers, man. You officially have some competition with those pass rushers. You know what I'm saying? You went out, you got a Zizo Jolari. Now you got another... Uh, Outside linebacker to go out to, to bring some competition with uh, Oshan Zimenez and Carter Coughlin and Lorenzo Carter. We're going to battle it out and see who's going to um, start week one as our go-to edge rushers, man. It's going to be very fun to watch. And I feel like, you know, if you want to keep the defense intact, that's what the Giants did. They went all out in, in the offseason for offense. And they really didn't, you know, outside of the Dory Jackson selection and the, um, well, pick, well, not pick, but the signing and the, um, What's his name? Uh, the Minnesota uh, pass rusher, uh, Ifadi Odenigbo. I can't even say his name. But, um, you know, those guys, they really didn't show a lot of attention to the defense. So they went edge rusher, corner, another edge rusher. I am perfectly fine with this. I think, like, the Giants know that even with the guys we signed, you know, offensively, we're going to win this game. We're going to win games based on our defense. How strong is our defense? And last year, our defense won us a lot of games. I feel like they, they wanted to have that same mentality this year. And I'm okay with that. So, you know, with the fourth round pick, the Giants select Ellison Smith. Welcome to the Giants linebacker out of Northern Iowa. I rock the pick.